Hello from Someka. Today in the Central South America country's heatmap generator video, I wanna show you how to create your own heatmap within a few minutes. I will introduce you some of the additional features of this heatmap. And let me show you what I mean but before that, if you need some assistance, you can follow our instructions by clicking turn on here or use without instructions. Let's see the explanation of the sections. The first section is heat map. After receiving your information from data section on the right, you can display your data in here. And the second part is data section. We have placed the population data and the abbreviations of the countries just as an example. You will change by yours. Copy data from another Excel sheet or input manually here. Lastly, in the settings section, it's all about how our heat map is look like. Let's dive into each of them. For example, under color palette, we have defined five color densities to here. These colors are indicated by your value limitations. For example, the red one in here indicate higher value of data and the red one in here indicate lower value of data. But if you want to set different color on the heat map, select one cell and change it from there. In the color and legend part, you can change the color of background and the state borders. Also, if you don't have data for some countries or when the data is not range in their limitations, you can paint them gray for example. And lastly about legend display, you may want to show or hide the legend information on the heat map. It's your choice. You can change here. This drop down. Last part is about text settings on the heat map. So when you click no text, you will see just the color. And the display names option will show you country's names. And when you click display text, you will see the your text part on the heat map. Let's just go and practice here by doing together step by step. I'm gonna go another Excel workbook that I have been working on. These are the GDP data of 2017 that I would like to use for my heat map. Actually, I've sorted them alphabetically to set easily this ready to use template. Let me go just copy of them and paste here as a value. So about color density, I should define my value limits. But before that, I will go my own sheet again because I calculated my minimum and maximum values to easily set limitations. Again, I will copy off them and paste here as a value also again. And after that, I will come in here and customize a little bit. Let's select a red one. And in text setting parts, I will use display text and as text size, I will use 12. And I wanna black border color. I'm ready to paint it. Here, the last view of the heat map. As you see, the new heat map is colored according to my current values and the borders are black as I do. In addition to this, you have a button here that says export as a PDF and when I click on that, it takes me to the page where I can print the final view of the heat map. It's for your slides or reports. Lastly, you can make some customization on the heat map also. All the country shapes are editable, but before, I'm gonna go review section, unprotect sheet, you'll be warned like this, right here your password. It will be sent to you with our email. Like, I can move it aside, resize it and in that blue for example and I can copy this shape to my powerpoint slides 
and this ready to use template is making available to show a heat map kind of visually nicely if you have a large statistics. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching and do not forget to check our other templates from Someka website. Thank you.